Hey, it's not Japanese. All you have to do is just tilt your head. Let's get back there and see what we got. <clears throat> All we do now is go in and unclamp, do the unclamping thing. Unfortunately, that takes a little time. And then this here will drop down. <clears throat> totally would if you could. I don't know if you can see that. You won't be able to read that very much. Anyway, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to come back after we get it painted and we'll see what it looks like. So we'll be right along with that. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I do to uh, finish my signs that I cut on the CNC. First of all, I put a coat of sanding sealer over the whole board, front, back, edges, everything. After that's dried a couple of hours, don't take that long, I know, but I, I let it dry a couple of hours. Then I sand it all over, front, back, sides, front, everything. Sand it with 180 grit, something like that. Sometimes I go to 220, but can't tell much difference in the finish. So we go with 180. Now I take, this is acrylic. Red, this happens to be red and black, as you can see. But whatever colors I have, I fill those letters, carvings, crevices, whatever I have with acrylic paints. With a small brush, dab it on, get it on the front of the uh, surface, that's okay. And we'll see. We'll be right back with um, after this acrylic's dried. And show you what it looks like. Here's the finish sign. I went over with my orbital sander with uh, 150 grit paper and uh, took it down to the raw wood, just leaving the lettering colors. Then I went and gave it uh, three coats of poly, sanding 220 grit in between each coat. So left a pretty nice finish and a uh, pretty nice sign. Turned out pretty good. And I'll see you in the next video.